Okay, so AP Biology, Lab 4, Part B, where we're going to be taking a look at uh, the photosynthesis light reaction. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure you, want to make sure you turn your spectrophotometer on because that's going to take quite a bit of time to get warmed up. Then uh, you set up your incubation area where you have a light source. You have a beaker of water that's going to serve as your heat sink, uh, which will allow light to get through but not any heat. And then you have your four test tubes and some kind of test tube rack. You want to number those one, two, three, four at the very top. But you can also use cubettes if you have cubettes. Those tend to be uh, quite a bit more expensive. All right. Um, so what you need to do here, uh, you also need to um, get some aluminum foil ready to go for test tube number two. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and then what we're going to do here is in the four test tubes. Test tube one, this is right according to the lab, is going to get one milliliter of the phosphate buffer, four mils of distilled water, and then three drops of the spinach extract, the unboiled extract. Number two gets one mil of the phosphate buffer, three mils of um, distilled water, one mil of the DPIP, and three drops of the unboiled chloroplast. Number three is going to get one mil of the Phosphate buffer, three mils of the distilled water, one mil of the DPIP, and three drops of the unboiled chloroplast. Number four, again, one mil of the phosphate buffer, three mils of distilled water, one mil of the DPIP, and three drops of the unboiled spinach. Uh, or, excuse me, uh, three drops of the boiled spinach extract. Okay, then we have our aluminum foil here. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, the aluminum foil here. So if you can create something that goes right over the top of number two with a cap of aluminum foil, you want to make sure that um, light's not getting in anywhere. And the best, you want to make this, you don't want to wrap this super tight around it because you're going to need to be able to pull the test tube out and slide it back in. So if you can do something where you can easily remove foil, put it back on, that's what you want to do. Okay, so um, then uh, what you're going to do, you need to get the measurements here out of the spectrophotometer. To do that, you're always going to use test tube number one as your, uh, to zero the spectrophotometer. First thing you do before you, after it's turned on, before you put any test tubes in, you make sure it's set to zero. Then you take test tube number one. You're going to slide it right in the slot, and sometimes it takes a little bit of pressure to get it down there, but you get it in there. And you're then going to set the transmittance to 100. All right, so using your knobs, you set transmittance to 100. The knobs are very sensitive, so be careful with that. Once that's at 100, you pull number one out, you pull number two out of the foil, and you slide number two in the spot. Mitchell Farouk to the high school office. That's going, sorry for that announcement. Uh, that's going to give the transmittance, that will give us a new number here in the transmittance spot. Um, and whatever number that is, that's the number you're going to write down in your, uh, on, on your paper. So then you pull number two out, you put two back in the foil. This is why you want to make sure that the foil is easily uh, able to do that. You take number three, you put it in, you get your reading. And out, number four, and get your reading, and take it out. Then you get all four of these test tubes, you put them under the light uh, source for five minutes, you do everything over again. Uh, you want to make sure that you're set to zero, then you put number one in again, set to 100, and you want to make sure you do that every single time. Then you put one out, repeat the steps with two, get your reading, with three, get your reading, four. So that's five minutes, and you want to do this at five, at zero, five, ten, and fifteen minutes, and that should give you all the readings that you need.